Welcome guys, thank you for watching this video, but before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, share it to all of your friends, and also check out the description for further information guys. And now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to today's quick video, and in today's video, I just wanted to share you a well let's say secret method which makes you unable to reset and not only you but also other players so if you have a game in which you want the players to not be able to reset then this video is perfect for you all right so let me show you the method i'm talking about so apparently when you rename your humanoid not only your not only yours so the humanoid of the player who do you not want to reset or who should who shouldn't be able to reset so if you change that player's humanoid's name let's say to something pretty random then the player as you can see is not able to reset so i'm not able to reset and if i change the name back to humanoid then I should be able to I think but I'm not sure okay as you can see it works so apparently the name of the humanoid has to do with the resetting process probably because um, when your character resets it is probably trying to refer to the humanoid since the humanoid has another name it cannot refer to it, therefore cannot, uh, yeah, just do the whole resetting. So that's my theory about it. There is probably an answer to it if you would, yeah, consider taking a look instead of these scripts right here. But I'm too lazy to do that, so I just wanted to share this method with you. Now you may ask, well, you, you have you have just shown the method, but how can I apply this on every player? So let's say you have a game in which you want the players to be un unable to reset. So how is this going to work out? So let me show it to you. You can just set up a script and then come on, game players player edit connect function. So basically we are referring to the players tab right here. And then player edit is an event which recognizes when a new player has been added. And now you can write PLR or player inside of these brackets and get the player who has re who has just uh, been added to the game. And for every player who has been added to the game, so for every player you can just yeah refer to the character. And I'm using this method because player character. Um, is a method which well which did not work out for me in the past and I've only made bad experiences with that therefore I use workspace wait for child PLR name now let me explain you why this works as well since your character is stored inside of the workspace and has the same name as your player's name um, so since that you can just yeah look for something inside of the workspace which basically has your player's name okay and that's of course going to be your character in most cases there are also other cases well regarding custom characters etc etc but i do not think that if you are that advanced that advanced to create your custom characters then um, you probably would not be watching these videos if you are that advanced never mind that you could now just character humanoid name so you can you could now just change the name to yeah or change your humanoid's name to something and now when I try to reset it should not work because my humanoid's name is now humanoid one but as you can see changing the name of the humanoid causes many many issues so not only the reset process is affected by that also animating processes okay let me try to find a, to find a quick fix for that so since this animate thing runs from the beginning we could we could add a small delay 
for, yeah, by two seconds. And we have successfully bypassed this arrow right here. Okay. That's one thing. Now, well, I don't know what kind of game you're creating, but your game will probably uh, yeah, will probably access the humanoid. And you are not you're now not able to just write character.humanoid anymore since your humanoid's name has changed. So you also need to adapt to those changes. All right, so that's it with this video, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If so, leave a like, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends. Also, take care and see you in the next video.